Good day guys, my name is Mahulan. In today's video, we are going to do some adventure in Madrid Safari Camp located in Northern Territory, Australia. Today is a Saturday and the time now is nearly 6.45. I'm in Darwin City and Madrid's crew will be coming here and picking us from here. We are going to do an airboat ride, feeding some crocodiles and also a helicopter ride in this adventure. Come on guys, let's start this adventure. This is the booking office for Medrite Cam. It is situated in shop 1 by 2, 58 Mitchell Street, Darwin City. This is Medrite and he is posing for a photo doing some adventure with his croc. The contact number for this place is given below there. Alright guys, the bus has arrived and here we start our journey for the adventure. Guys, we have arrived at the camp and this is the colorful bus that carried us. You can see the photos of a crocodile, an airboard and also a helicopter ride on the bus. These are the things we are going to do today. Alright guys, we are ready for our first thing, an airboard ride. Before that, I need to show you the people who are coming with me and also the airboards we are going to go today. As usual, first thing is safety instruction and our guide is giving some explanations about what we are going to do and see during our boat ride. Hi guys! These are the two airboats which are going to carry us through the river and floodplains. They have nearly 550 to 600 horsepower at 5800 to 6000 rpm. We are on the board guys and let's do this airboat ride. Here we start slowly and steadily. We will be going really very fast through this Finnish river guys. Speeding up and get going really fast. Some explanation about the ecosystem here and where we are currently now is given by our guide. This ecosystem is surrounded by Finnish river and there are a lot of animals living in here.
Also, he said there will be a lot of water flowing in the river during the wet season and should be nearly 100 crocodiles living here. Among them, the biggest one is ranging 5 meters. Now we are entering through a shallow creek which will lead us to the other part of the river followed by the flood plains in the middle. We are in the other side of the river and here you can see the water level is shallow and it is nearly at the height of our foot. These are not gamber grasses. This kind of grasses specially grow in this ecosystem and they were carried to northern territory from some other state especially to feed cattle. As you see guys there is a big brahmin bull resting in the shade and our guide said that bull was resting there for past couple of days. Now we are heading to another part of the river to check out if there are any crocodiles. There is a crocodile resting in the shadow guys, have a look at that crocodile.
Guys, you can see a 1.5 meter crocodile resting in the shadow there. Now we have almost finished our airboard ride. All right, we finished our airboard ride and now we are going to go in a party cruise for a relaxing ride and going to have lunch in that cruise. This is the party cruise called Cyclone Creek and we are going to go on a relaxing ride. Cool guys, they got fishing rod and fishing gears in this cruise. We can also do some fishing. This cruise is also having an indoor kitchen and dining table. We can also access the top of the cruise with our own safety. I'm right here on the top of the cruise alone and the view is so amazing guys. Already two girls started fishing from the cruise. Lunch guides, these two handsome guides cooked us a fabulous lunch. Guys, we have done all the boat ride and now we are going to feed the crocodiles. Come on, let's go and feed them. As you can see behind me, guys. They have a separate caged ecosystem for each crocodile here. So now we are going to feed the crocodiles and our maid is setting up a stick and binding meat on that to feed the crocodile. There are crocodiles in each shelters here and they got a separate environment. They have also named the crocodiles here. See here guys. This crocodile in this cage is called underbite. All right, time to feed the crocodiles. Let's get in and feed Basically, the first if crocodile, one guys. Basically, the crocs would have been put down, knocked on the head, and or shot um, if it wasn't for us. 
Now, they've all sort of got a story. So, for example, this fella here, um, Porto, Porto's a pump, a 5.1 meter crocodile. He'd be one of our fattest crocs down here. He actually come out from the crocodile farm. He spent a lot of his time in the croc farm as a big breeder. Now, um, got a bit old, a bit geriatric, stopped breeding. Put him into a pen and uh, overnight he killed 15 females. <gasps> so when that's happening at the farm, it's not great for business. There are nearly 15 crocodiles here in the separate cages and most of them are named. They are living in their own cage ecosystem happily. Look at this one guys, this crocodile is called Charson. The next one is called Troy and now we are going to feed Mr. Troy. Alright guys, considering the video timing, I'm finishing the part 1 here. Feeding Troy and other adventures we have done there will be in the part 2. Part 2 video will be released soon in our channel. Till then, I'm signing off from this beautiful episode. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video. If you did so, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Leave a thumbs up on this video. I hope to see you guys in another beautiful episode. Thanks for watching and cheers.